Hey everybody, welcome back and thank you for being here. Today I finally get to share with you one of the coolest guitars I've ever featured here on the channel. Definitely the coolest SG, I think I can say that at least, but it plays great, sounds great, and it's a little different than typical guitars that I feature here, so it might surprise you. Anyhow, this is the guitar back here. And a few days ago, I posted a video showing some of the new vintage guitar projects I've picked up recently, and I'll let you guys decide which guitar I would showcase for the next episode, and this is what you chose. So this is the Gold Gibson SG, and you can check out the finish here on the back. I'll let you take it in. It's, it's very cool. It's got some killer checking going on. And it, it reminds me of those 1950s Les Pauls that Gibson did in all gold, which that's one of the coolest looks to me. Anyhow, this guitar has a very unique pickup and bridge combination that I'll get to in just a minute here. But this guitar is actually not vintage by most people's standards. I think it's about 10 to 20 years old or so. It does have a Made in the USA stamp on the back as well as a serial number but I have not looked into that to try to date it. So someone took some kind of Gibson SG or special and stripped it and repainted it in this authentic nitro lacquer and it's, it's really thin and aged and played in and it just feels like an old guitar, which is what I love. So I found this guitar on Facebook Marketplace, which to be honest with you, I don't find a lot of cool guitars around here in Oklahoma. Uh, sometimes I do go down to Texas to find guitars, but um, this one was here locally, and when I saw the paint job, I knew I had to pick it up. Uh, so some of the other cool appointments, this one has a single Gibson patent sticker humbucker, which would be found on like a mid 60s to early 70s SG or 335, something like that really desirable pickup and I think it reads about 7.5k or so so it's kind of a, a low powered humbucking pickup and it, it has a very nice articulate sound you can uh, really clean it up if you want to but if you will crank a tube amp uh, this thing gets really nasty so obviously this is a single pickup which I love single pickup guitars some people will say there's you know something going on with the magnetic puller and and the pickup sounds better uh, I'm not gonna comment on that but to be honest the single pickup guitars that I've had I do feel like there's a little bit extra to them so I don't know what it is but it, it really works and I do like the simplicity of it single volume single tone you don't have to worry about switching pickups you just play and and be creative and and with the uh, volume and tone on these guitars you can really kind of dial them in to get a range of of tone and and the, the tone on this um, setup really works well <laughs> Bridge on this one is a reissue style Vibrola tailpiece, which to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these. I usually take them off because they're, they're just not really very ergonomical to play and use them at the same time. Um, but this one is there if you want to use it. What is cool about it is that it has uh, what I believe is a Nashville style bridge here, which is great because um, what these normally would have is like a wraparound tailpiece that, that you obviously cannot intonate. This allows you to intonate it perfectly and it does give you a unique sound because I, I, I don't typically see a vibrola with a intonated tailpiece like that. So it's definitely a unique setup. It plays a little bit differently than a uh, wraparound tailpiece. So when I got it, I just had to do a little bit of fret work to it and it was ready to go. It does have a 1 and 11 16 nut, which is the Gibson wide nut, which is really what you want. That's that's what I prefer. And, uh, you know, if you were going to buy something that was, um, you know, 1965 or earlier Gibson to get that size neck, 
uh, an SG Junior like that, you're going to pay probably $2,500 to get something like that. So this is this is a great value guitar for what it is. It does have kind of a full to medium C-shaped neck, and it does fill out your hand up here on the 12th fret, but it, it's very comfortable, and I, I definitely like it. Only weighs about six pounds or so, and so it's it's you know I definitely like that. I talk about lightweight guitars. That's that's definitely my thing. Uh, finally, it's got single line Cluson three on a strip tuners, which would be vintage correct for a junior or something like that. And then it had to have this custom pit guard made to fit a single humbucker. So I think that pretty much wraps everything up with this guitar. I'm gonna play it for you guys today. I wish I had something up and running that was like tweed or something like that because it would really shine. But uh, I'm gonna play it through my 68 Super Reverb and crank it up a little bit and show you guys the range of tones and then you know how this pickup can go from pretty clean, nice sounding uh, chord rhythm tone to just a killer, you know, uh, straight ahead lead tone as well. So let me know guys what you think about this one, how you think it sounds, looks, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it. So let's do it. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today. It really means a lot to me. I love to hear your thoughts on this guitar. Uh, I really just love it because it's it's an affordable guitar that um, you know has a mix of vintage and modern appointments. So you get that reliability, and then you also get some of that vintage sound with this humbucker. But um, the finish really is is just so cool and. Uh, 
you know, I, I like uh, a thin nitro lacquer, not necessarily because it changes the tone, although that could be the case. I, I can't really speak to that, but it just feels better to me. I, I, I don't know how else to say it other than it just feels like I'm playing a quality instrument and uh, I, I prefer that. So for the price range, I just don't think that you can beat this guitar. And it is incredible and I do love it, but I don't think this will be something that I'll hold on to very long. I just, honestly, I feel like this could be a main ax for somebody and I've, I've just got too much stuff that I probably wouldn't play it as much as it deserves to be played, but someone else out there uh, for the money, I think would just love to have this thing. So um, if you are interested in the guitar, uh, I do have a reverb store link down below in the description. You can go uh, follow me on that page and every time I list something, you'll, you'll be notified. So I list a bunch of cool parts and pedals and guitars and uh, just random stuff that I pick up. I'm always getting new stuff. So uh, if you want to follow me there, you'll be notified exactly when I uh, decide to list this thing. So thank you so much again, guys, for watching. Drop a comment and uh, let me know if you dig the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace. Oh, I'm glad that's done. See you.